we, we kind of showed up in Auckland with not much of a plan. And, um, and the staff at the Auckland City Hospital sorted us out with Ronald McDonald Housing. When we found out about Ronald McDonald House, it sort of it made things a lot easier for us. Because if we couldn't stay at the house, we wouldn't have been able to afford to stay down there for the three weeks. You've been told your baby's fine and then all of a sudden we're being rushed to Wellington and immediately there was just so many people just wanting to help us and help us get settled in. You really did feel like you were at home and having him just five minutes across the road was invaluable for his recovery and for us as a family. Just to be able to be in a space where we don't have to worry about a finances and um, be the location of where we are has just been absolutely phenomenal. We feel very, very lucky. To be able to come here, not have to worry about appointments, not have to worry about everyday life going to work, being able to just get up, spend time as a family from the moment we get up until the moment we go to bed pretty much. All these wonderful friends I've made downstairs with all the, the neat staff and yeah, it's just been great. You know, from every lounge to the toys to the people that volunteer for the meals and the food, while your real concern is your baby across the road, it just takes your mind off things that you don't have to worry about anything. You know, you're here with a whole lot of other families and, and you eat together and you talk to each other and you, you get to know each other and you, you begin to share a journey that's with other people that's bigger than just your own. You don't realise what all these organisations do until you're in this situation. I think Ronald McDonald House is a fantastic initiative and I think everybody should get behind it, whether it's governments or private enterprises, and support it because it does support families.